This is RadioOnFire.com, home of the Sugar Mama Radio. Here are your hosts, Shamika Chantel and Chanel Nicole. You're now tuned in to Sugar Mama Radio. This is your girl, Shamika Chantel. And hey, your girl, Chanel Nicole. We trying to sm- sound all smooth. And- you feel me? Just a little bit. After all that turn up music? I know. <laughs> we were just, <laughs> I was just right here a little bit. Check us out on IG, Chanel Nicole. Um, C H E N E L L E N I C O L E and Shamika Chantel. But on, you, you can actually search for Shamika Chantel, it will still pop up, or just put Sugar Mama, S H U G G A M A M A on Instagram. And make sure you guys follow us on IG, Sugar Mama Radio. Absolutely. And also, they should have that by heart by now, man. Yeah, also, <laughs> also on Twitter. Which is Sugar Mama Radio, and we're also on Facebook. So make sure you check us out. Log on to RadioOnFire.com. We're streaming live right now. You make do. sure you text somebody, tell them to tune in. Right email, now. Email call them, do whatever. Make sure you tell them to tune in to Sugar Mama Radio on RadioOnFire.com. Man, it's been a weekend. Yes, how was your weekend? Let's get started how we do. <laughs> what? I mean, Catch me up. Cool so I seen you I'm Thursday. This is my first time seeing okay. you since Thursday. Yes. So well, speaking of Thursday, make sure y'all come through the Five Mile House yes. every Thursday. Yo, I always miss cribs. It's so super Happy super. Hour. <laughs> it's so crazy. I miss cribs every single time I come. Yeah. So on Thursdays we have it be cribs, jumping. Fifty cent wings, hookah, five dollar drinks. The Long you, Island's is off the oh chain. Oh my god, tropical. You got me trying all different types of Long yeah, Island. Yeah, I try all the different. I can't do the regular Long Island. See, I, I can just. I normally just do the peach. You got me on that tropical, and there's another one yeah, you get. The the strawberry watermelon. Yes, strawberry watermelon. Oh my goodness! Shout out to the bartenders <laughs> at the Five Mile House, man. Yeah, they be pouring it up for real. And last night, um, we was at Oxygen. Oxygen, um, it was crazy. I heard. I heard night, all tables were sold out. Tables sold out. Y'all did y'all thing, man. Every Saturday night, come check us out. It's like that grown folks feel. So if you come to Baltimore and you need somewhere to go on a Saturday, and I'm not a promoter. So I'm telling you from really a standpoint of going out in a sense. Mm -hmm. When you want to go out somewhere decent, the drinks are good, and you really not with the crowd that you don't want. You know, sometimes you go somewhere. On Saturdays at Oxygen, it's not your normal, regular crowd that you see out. It's and not. It's very diverse. You, you, it really is. And if you went to reggae, they got the reggae downstairs. Yeah. It's really dope. I love it. The international crowd downstairs. Look, the Africans be jamming, man. Yeah, oh, girl, I, be that little down, <laughs> I be wanting to go down there and party with them. They go down there and learn hard. some moves, man. Them bitches be twerking, <laughs> jerking, whatever you call it. <laughs> they party hard down there. But, yeah, make sure y'all check us out at Oxygen every Saturday. Late 10 to 11. Calvary Street. So no excuses, lady. Y'all are free to and open ball. That's the best thing of. Oh mm-hmm. my god. Yeah. Like I put like seriously. Last time I went and I left because I didn't drop my cousin off. Shamika didn't even see me because I was there so early. And like my cousin like, oh my gosh, I gotta go, so I had to drop her off. Oh, yeah, her Girl, when I say no, I was planning on staying to freaking turn up until she got to leave, and we left probably like eleven something. I was done. For real? No done. <laughs> I mean, then I probably bought one drink after the open ball was done. So I had got, like, another drink. I can never get there that early. That was my, I was, yeah, that was my first time. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's been a crazy weekend. The weather has been lovely. I'm loving it. This, that, yes. this, that, um. I don't care if I'm single weather. <laughs> this, that, right, this, that, a nigga about to act up weather. Absolutely. I don't mind being single right now. The weather is getting good. That, but it's kind of it's kind of messed up though because the big girls that was getting all the love and the women about to be get kicked to the side. Oh, well, look, that's why they ought to just like work out, diet. Bitch, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? If you want to kick a nigga, and you feel as though that the weather changed, he going oh, dip. Oh my god! So you better get, bring that get that sexy on his ass, girl. She got to work out because the weather changing. <laughs> so she ain't well, she should be fucking trying to be healthy already. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! I don't want people to. It's the shade. See, no, listen. That's the thing. The shade. Well, Chanel really don't be throwing shade. I swear I don't. Every God knows my heart. <laughs> but people take my. Sometimes what I say, I think <laughs> the opposite. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I didn't <laughs> say. It. I didn't but say listen, it. you could be motivation because 
Bitch, stand up. You look good. No, don't look. do that. Don't do you that. look good, though. The weather's don't over. You've really been, and I, I commend you for sticking to your diet. Because I seen it on Thursday. This bitch was eating a big thing of string beans. <laughs> I'm like, girl, you want some of these fried wings? She's like, no, I'm sticking to my diet. So I do commend you for doing that, like. It's nothing wrong with toning up and wanting to be healthy. You're still going to be thick. You know mm. what I'm saying? I'm not skinny. I'm far from skinny. I just toned up a lot. Yeah. I um. Plus, I had so a, like I had this is motivation for them. Yeah. I, I listen. I love the big girls. I, this is Chanel talking about motivation. I'm not. Ta- I'm not talking bad about nobody though. <laughs> I swear I'm not. I'm really not talking bad. But like you could be motivation because it's like a lot of women who may feel like they unhealthy or want to change stuff. They really don't do it. Mm-hmm. Bitch, you See, doing I, I went it. To, I, I went to the doctors, and, of course, you know, your doctor always saying something about you. So, well, my doctor is the type that, oh, my back hurt, lose weight. Oh, my throat dry, <laughs> lose weight. I'm like, like bitch, I ain't, I'm, look, right, really? <laughs> Right. But, um, so I told her I at least wanted to get to 185, and she said that that was still obese. I need to get down to 160. See, listen. No, I'm not going that far. When I say I was, right now, I'm 167. Mm-hmm. And I just lost almost like, I probably lost like a good 10 pounds. So people can't tell because of my height. You get okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you see me, I'm in the same category. I'm Because I'm 5'5". Five five. I'm 5'5 five five and a half. Okay. So we well, okay. Well, pretty much. Sixty is not bad then, because I'm thinking one sixty was like really skinny. No, I'm one right now. I'm one sixty seven. I got on the scale at my brother' house over the weekend. I'm one sixty seven, and initially I was like one seven, one eighty. Like I'm like what? Really? I, I swear. That's why you be like, you know, you look good, bitch. I'm trying to get back down. What you mean? I'm in the same <laughs> boat. <laughs> Shit is real. It is about to get hot, and I can't be wearing them damn shapers in the summertime. That's that's the main reason. I can't. That so that's the main reason. Not the health. Fuck health. Oh, and I'm but you don't want to wear and shapers. And I'm trying to show off in Cancun. Oh yeah, you is going to Cancun. I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah. I'm so gonna figure it out. Shout out to all the side sexies out there. <laughs> Chanel. I'm. I'm trying to just you know look at this. I look, looking a little good. Trying to get the waist in just a little bit. You're a mess. So on a, on a more <coughs> serious note. We Absolutely. Want, we want to discuss um, the Freddie Gray situation. Um, rest in peace to Freddie Gray. Yes. Um, if you want to weigh in on what we're about to discuss, um, you can call in. The number is 404-436-1277. Um, I know, you know, it was, this is something that, you know, you follow. And right. when it comes to b- police brutality and anything that has to do with the police out, <laughs> outside of the what policy the, what they the should <laughs> yes i'm there with the handbook so, i mean and i'm not the type of person that me personally i'm the type of person that don't like to watch the news because i'm just already Tired. so <laughs> cautious of everything else and i really don't want to live in fear based on what the news tell me so when you what the news is you know reporting right. So when you told, asked me about the Freddie Gray, I had no idea what you were talking about. So I right. had to, you know, look it up and find out what was going on. And it's a really sad t- situation that happened right here in Baltimore City. Yes, and it reminds you of, like, the Trayvon, well, not necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily say Trayvon Martin, but um, Mike Brown. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And so many other incidents, um, Eric Garner, mm-hmm. who, you know, up in New York. So it's so many incidents that happened and you know it's here it's there it's never at home you feel what i'm saying so for something to really really touch home and the marches that you've seen on the news Mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying for that to be happening and now where we live at is really like shocking yet amazing and for it to you know you see the stories on national news about it happening in other states and for it to happen here it's just it's a wake-up call it is that this shit is real yeah you feel what i'm saying it's not just down south where they used to hold all the slaves and oh yeah their families are safe masters or you know what i'm saying this is all over yeah so for for those who are like me and don't know what's going on and 
are not familiar with what happened with Freddie Gray. He was a 27-year-old black man who was arrested. We still don't know why he was arrested. So The 12th of April. The 12th of April, he was arrested. Um, he was taken into custody. Some say unharmed, no no injuries, but then there are some that are reporting that it's actually, he was, um, there's a video showing that he may have had a broken leg. Right. But in custody, he then experienced, um, well, I, um, they actually, I just, I, I've been reading on this all day. Um, pretty much right here, this is the most I've seen the news talk about it. They give a exact location, 1700 block of Presbury. The police um, restrained him at eight, um, 8.54. By 9.24, the ambulance was called. Less than an hour, 30 minutes later, the ambulance was called to the Western District Police so Station. he was at the Western District Yes. When the, when the ambulance was called. Yeah, he was at the police station when the ambulance was called. And now um, they're trying to figure out what happened within those 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Between 8.54 and 9.24. Friends and family, the, the police department is not given any information, which is extremely ridiculous because to me in situations like this, you're covering your fucking ass. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's not a lot to that. So while in custody, he then had broken bones um, in the neck, broken neck bones. Right. Um, voice box crushed. Right. And he went into a coma. Right. Because of those injuries that happened while within he was those thirty minutes within in custody, those thirty minutes of custody, right? How do they? How do they? How do you try to cover that up? Like I'm just confused of how, like how. And it's so interesting because we talked about an incident. I want to say back in like September, October, right here in Baltimore, the guy who was shot and killed inside of the police station oh, yeah, with the that. handcuffs on. Uh -huh. Oh, he had a gun on him. You get what I'm saying? Like, and even with that story, we talked about that story. And didn't this happen at the same this at the same district? That's what I'm getting to. If I'm not mistaken, this is the same exact district. I'm gonna go back to double check. But if I'm not mistaken, this is the same exact district. And it's like that that happened less than a year ago. Mm -hmm. Case never solved. No police officers. Anything is not done. So now you're on the streets. You know you can do what the fuck you want to do. You're, nothing's going to happen because the people, they're going to back you. They're going to cover it up. Mm -hmm. And here we go again. I just don't think. There's, there's, to me, there's nothing they can really say. If you have video footage of the, the young man going, getting put into the police wagon, uninjured. You hear him yelling on a video. Ah, like yelling like he's hurt, like. They're carrying him by his arms. His arms is up. One police under the left arm, one police under the right arm. And his legs are dragging. He's not even walking. His legs are dragging across the ground. The girl in the video, like, his legs are broke. Like, you can see his legs were not able to work. So, for me, once he got into that vehicle, what the fuck could have happened that could magically make his legs start working instantly? And there's no way he can try to... Attack a police officer. The nigga can't fucking walk. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So, like, they, I don't know what they trying to do. Shout out to Stephanie. Uh, all of them, they just fucking irritate me, yo. And I just and don't like taking and things personal. That's a lot of people that are blaming um, Stephanie Almeida, Stephanie Rollins. Blake. And for me, in this incident, I would. The last incident, when we talked about it, you was like, no Chanel. At this point, you have to blame right. the mayor. Because this like, shit happened this, too this many times. Not, right, this is not the first time it happened. Right. But if it's the first time it happened, it's like, okay, how can you blame that the mayor? When she wasn't in the back of the van, she ain't the one. Right. That, you, know, you know, but it's like, this is not the first incident. So it's like, at some point, somebody has to take responsibility for what's going on in our city. Absolutely. And unfortunately, you're the mayor. And the police commissioner. Right. I haven't even heard him talk. He said that um, there was a statement that he said he wanted to speak with the family so, to explain explain the events that happened. But they no refused, to cut them a chat. To speak with them. <laughs> they refused to speak with him, and they refused to get on camera. And I don't blame them. Yeah, the mother she talked on camera, but she pretty much had like the poster in her face like this. Whereas though she could never be identified.
And that's a shame that you don't even want to go on TV and say and try to get justice for your son because you don't know what could happen to you. Mm -hmm. These officers are so cruel and just out of control, if you ask me. Yeah. Completely. It's like they're giving criminals guns and badges. Right. And then cover it up when they're, you know. And try to cover it up with the law. Because there's no possible way all all these incidents just started happening within a year or two, two, three year time period. We starting to hear more and more about these incidents. This shit been happening. You get what I'm saying? I know. And just think, we're only hearing about the people that died. Right. Not the people that survived. Injured, yeah, that right. survived and just, you know, and just were injured. Because so most of them, some sometimes they pay them off. They're, they cut checks. That's where a lot of our money go. <laughs> the police fucking up. They got to cut a check. So we're going to cut you this check. Fuck the roads been fucked up. We got to cut you this check. So, you know what I'm saying? Nobody else will hear about this story. You'll mm-hmm. just be quiet and go ahead about your life. Right. And, and to me, a, a lot of people are saying, you know, police as a whole. To me, the, it's about the individual. And I know you feel differently. About I do. <laughs> to me, it's a, it's a <laughs> individual because it's just like you can't say every black man is a killer because one black man killed right so it's the same to me it's the same with the police you can't say the police department uh they are killers because one police officer killed a man see and then to me where i don't agree with that is when the whole police department tries to cover up something or justify something if you're wrong and you are holding a badge, give me your badge. You going to jail? I'm the man. My whole entire police station not about to cover up nothing for you. Mm-hmm. I'm not. If I'm a good police officer and I'm the boss, and I know you are wrong, you're going to be suspended until we figure out what the fuck is going on. You're not going to be roaming my streets, protecting my streets, and y'all just killed the man. Well, so to me, that thing it's like it's a lot of people that don't think. Um, John Doe should be in jail. It's a lot of people that think he do should um, should be in jail. It's, it's like to me, it's double standard. John Doe is a police officer. No, I'm just saying. For instance, John Doe, the black man that that killed, he might have. Uh, I don't know. He might. They. He. You know. He. Of course, he's going to plead not guilty. So it's like there may be his family members or whoever. You talking about the sniper? That's the sniper guy. I'm just speaking hypothetically. Oh, just. I'm just speaking hypothetically. Okay. I'm not speaking about anyone in general. Right. Anyone okay. In particular. Um, but it's like you, you had people that don't want that person to be in jail. I understand it, but that person isn't. See, for me, when we talk about police and not all police are bad or, you know, not all police are killers, so we shouldn't look at all polices. To me, just on that statement, where you have a whole entire district covering up a situation, police the commissioner don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So now that one bad apple, why would the whole entire police force want to cover up for one bad apple if everybody else is good? Y'all going to do real justice, not just because he has a badge, so you're going to try, beat around the bush, maybe still punish him under, you know, but as far as really get justice, Mm -hmm. this is not how this shit goes. They stated that they will undergo a thorough investigation and hire a, a task force to. But listen, help with that finally, now that he's dead, y'all feel really bad. So now you got to do it. He's been this way for what? Like a, for today's for a week. Over a week. He been, no, he's been like this for a week. Mm-hmm. So why didn't y'all been do investigation? You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, now because y'all asses is hot, now y'all really want to do investigations. Y'all never investigated nothing. And y'all don't even have no the police commissioner that we have now. I really don't understand how he. Well, of course we know how he was elected into office. People voted for him, but right. he was not one that I voted for. I, I, I vote. I'm a voter. Uh, a very Absolutely, loyal voter. And I just don't. And, I, and that's another thing. Our people got to get out and vote. Everybody want to expect yes. change. Everybody, we are rallying the same people that are that are at these rallies need to be at the voting polls. I agree. So, you know, we we got to all take responsibility for what we all play in the situations. Yeah. But this situation, it's just like it's crazy. Yeah, I know they had it's a like march. How can you how can you even try 
it's clear as day. Like, how right. can you even try to so for justify me, anything? So for me, that's kind of like the part where it's showing you, like, when, when someone shows you who they are, believe them. So mm-hmm. seven months ago when that guy got killed in a, with handcuffs, he shot himself in his chest or something with handcuffs behind his back. Okay, every any dummy walking on the street can know that's not even logical. Mm-hmm. So right then and there... When they show you who they are, believe them. No, for some people, that's not enough. Then another incident happened um, down Lexington Market, I want to say like in February, when a homeless guy got beat up by the police. All right, whatever. You know, it wasn't a lot of coverage on it, but when you see it, believe it. Blaming Stephanie Rollins, Blake, because you know, there's all these instances that keep happening and nobody's saying anything, nobody's doing anything. And. She has to be held accountable as well, unfortunately. And she's on TV. Well, she just irritates me. She's, oh my god, she's glam to the, the head from head to toe. Lord, whatever kind of haircut that is, curls on, on kind of on fleek, trying on to do fleet. her thing, trying to be cute and shit. Come on, y'all. You even she just need to just if it's too much for her, get the fuck out of office. I'm sorry for my language. It really just boils my blood because I have a brother mm-hmm. who police pull up on him. He going to ask some questions. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? What you pulling up on me for? Yeah. And shit like that, they don't like. So that guy could have very well been Rico or, you know, been your brother, mm-hmm. your cousin. Any, you feel what I'm saying? When your cousin got arrested, imagine... Oh, Ama- yeah. Imagine oh, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> when your cousin got arrested, you know what I'm saying? I'm just using like hypothetically like and you get a call that he's in a coma. Like I just seen him. He got arrested. Like what the fuck happened within 30 minutes? Like he in a coma? Mm-hmm. His neck fr- fractured? They lied on him and said that he tried to, they tried to put him with oh, charges. They, with, they do um, that too. Attempted murder on a police officer. Oh, yeah. They, they definitely how can you, they how can you say, say right then. When you when they show you something, you gotta believe it. But it's like sometimes it takes a lot to really weigh people down. And I think this is like the straw that broke the camel's back. Because yesterday I really couldn't go to the um the march in which I really, really did want to. But my little cousin fifth birthday in Milan would have died if I didn't take her. So I had to take her to the birthday party, but um, Reverend Jamal Bryant was out there. Um, they walked from where the incident happened all the way down to the district um, police station. And, um, you know, he did a prayer in front of the police station, mm-hmm. and they said they're going to do that every Saturday until justice. Until they get answers. Right. So next Saturday, should we come dragging you out there with me? What time is it? I'm not sure. I'm going to find out. I think yesterday was at, like, 2.30. Okay. If I'm not sure. It is my mom's birthday, but this is a really important matter, so I'm definitely want to go out in March. Yeah, and I, we encourage everyone, everyone to, to come down. down. Diamond, you down to go with us? On Saturday? Yeah. yeah. There we go. See? Ready on fire. Yeah, I'll go. So, so, so that's what you're trying to do? You want to take, take some cameras down there? Yeah. That's All right, what let's I'm do it. I'm trying to do and talk to, talk right, to our community it. because who else going to do it? Yeah, that's good. We got to find out what time so we can make sure we right. let the people know that we'll be there. Yes. Yeah, just get the times together and let's put it out there. Okay. And, and have some people um, meet us there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And again, if you and want we got, to. We got to make sure we got um, bail money for um, <laughs> Chanel in I'm case she turns out too much. <laughs> Let's start a GoFundMe <laughs> campaign. <laughs> <laughs> a GoFundMe, right? <laughs> Early. <laughs> no, 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 no. So that was definitely not um, going to act up. Absolutely not. Okay. Under no circumstances. Is this another Chanel? We, don't, we talking about Chanel Nicole? We talking about Chanel Nicole. We defi- yeah. Good, okay. She's definitely not acting up under no circumstances because I'm not trying to die. And, <laughs> and that's sad. You know what I'm saying? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's freedom of speech, but I ain't trying to die. Right. right. So, again, if you guys <laughs> want to um, call in and weigh in on what we're discussing, the number is 404-436-1277. Yes, yes. We're going to – I want to listen to some some locals. We got – who we got? Doughboy and Cesar. Yeah. We got a lot of music. We got a lot of music. Shout out to everybody that sent us music. If you haven't, send us music to sugarmamaradio at gmail.com. That's S-H-U-G-G-A-M-A-M-A radio 
at gmail.com. And you will be played live on air. That's what we do. Yep. Stay tuned. <laughs> we can play some music. <laughs>